I've had the LU cab rooftop tent for a year now. So the big question is, is it worth it? And is it something that might suit you? Before we answer those questions though, there's a lot of things we need to take into consideration. So let's take a look. To start off we'll go through some specifications. The dimensions, the length externally is 2.3 meters and it's 2.1 meters internally. The width externally is 1.4 and internally is 1.3 at the shoulders. The height uh, closed is at the front 21 centimeters and at the rear it's 28 centimeters. The height with the tent open is 2 meters and the interior with the tent open is 1.6 meters. The overall weight is 88 kilograms. There's built-in cargo rails for fitment of optional load bars. I also put my kayak on there. You can also put mountain bikes on roof racks as well. There's three-point access. So there's doors on each side. It's a gas strut to uh, pop the tent up. The mattress itself is a 75mm high density foam mattress and now that cover zips off and is washable also. There's uh, six storage pockets sitting in the internal. Also internally we have uh, internal USB power points, uh, a 12 volt plug point and internal lighting. And at the rear door there's an awning to keep the uh, entrance dry if it happens to be raining outside. Now if it is raining, the canvas structure is dual layer so it's much better for insulation and protection from the rain. I've been camping in uh, 2 degrees and been very very warm inside the, the uh, tent so the uh, insulation is very good on it. First thing you need to consider with the LU cab is the weight. At 80 kilos, it's not the lightest thing. And sitting on top of your roof, if you do a lot of four-wheel driving, you're relying on a lower center of gravity. So 80 kilograms on the roof is not always the best thing. If you're considering doing a lot of very hardcore four-wheel driving, an option like this may not be something that suits you. However, if you're doing just a lot of touring and uh, light to mid-range four-wheel driving, it could be a perfect thing to consider. The second thing to consider is comfort. It is comfy. There's a four-inch mattress that lives inside it. I've also got a two-inch Duna pillow topper that sits on top of it. And there is still room to jam chairs, tables and a couple of other different things inside and still close the roof. So in and of itself there's still extra storage that's available. In terms of other creature comforts that are available inside the tent, it has its own 12 volt setup. So as you can see here, there's a 12 volt Anderson that goes into the roof. So once you get that plumbed in, when you get your electrics done, you've got 12 volts going into the roof. Third point of consideration is versatility and ease of use. As you can see here, erecting the tent takes literally 30 seconds. It's extremely fast. You can be sitting down with a beer in your hand while all your mates are still stuffing around with their tents and swags and uh, be quite a happy person. Some people may look at the fact that you've got to get up and down a ladder into the tent to get into it every time as a massive downside. I can definitely see that point of view, but for me the positives and the upside far outweigh any of the downs like uh, the weight and also the fact that you've got to get up and down a ladder to get into your tent. So wrapping up, what we've tried to do is cover a few different points and think about a few different things 
that you might need to consider for yourself when thinking about buying something like an LU cab. There are a great many things to consider. So hopefully this has given you a bit of information and a bit of insight into somebody who's owned one uh, for a year now and gets very regular use out of it and some of the pitfalls but also a lot of the advantages as well that come with something like this just so you know i'm not sponsored by alu cab or i don't have any affiliations with alu cab it just happened to be a product that i looked into myself and was very very impressed with and was extremely happy with paying the money for because it suited exactly what I wanted to do and exactly how and where I go camping. And uh, so far in the year that I've owned it, I've had absolutely no regrets in spending the money. I would do it over again, absolutely. So hopefully you've got some insight and uh, happy trails. See you on the road.